I wanted to show how to do a hybrid heat system, but rather than the industry standard of using balance point, which is an outdoor air temperature switchover between propane and heat pump, I found that that's kind of hard to actually determine what the balance point should be. And if you set the balance point too high, you run too much propane. You set it too low, the customer calls you because they're cold. So I've been doing some of these with setting up a hybrid as a standard heat pump with electric heat. And uh, But the problem is that you have to take into consideration that this heater, when you turn it off, it still stays hot for quite a few minutes. And if you run the heat pump with the hot air going across the coil, you get high head pressure, and uh, which isn't good. So I've been doing a few installations uh, and I wanted to get a video of it to show because they've been working out well. And uh, where I basically have a discharge temperature thermostat measuring the air entering the evaporator. So it's discharge off of the furnace, but not discharge off the evaporator. I really don't care about that. I care about the air entering the bottom of the evaporator. And uh, so with a simple control, uh, measuring the discharge entering into the evaporator, furnace discharge, and a lockout relay, which all nicely fits inside the control, you can have a hybrid work exactly the same as an electric single fuel system. And so the customer can get the benefit of heat pump all the way down yeah, 20 degrees, even zero if they want. And then they can switch to emergency heat anytime they want. And when they switch to emergency on the thermostat, you get propane. Or, which is really neat, is that it'll automatically turn on the auxiliary heat, which turns on uh, when it needs extra heating you know, in the house. If stage one is basically set up as a two-stage. Stage one is heat pump. Stage two is heat pump and gas furnace, except this control locks out uh, the heat pump. So stage two is gas furnace, stage one is heat pump. Thermostat can have plenty of capacity any time of year uh, to satisfy the uh, indoor requirements, and it works out pretty good. Well, let me show you how I do it. So here's the wiring. The relay fits right on the bottom. We got power. I'm doing it on a five strand wire. All our control wire right there. And then the sensor is sensing the inlet side of the evaporator. Just drill the hole and put it right on the inlet side. wanted to show the thermostat setup here. Fahrenheit, 90 degrees, 15 degree differential. It's on cooling. That's it. That's the setup. And that gives you your 90 degree close, 105 degree open. On the thermostat here, Make sure we got the aux and the E for emergency heat. They're jumper together. Some of these thermostats, you have to do that. So it's gonna be stage two heat, which would be auxiliary. That's gonna turn on the propane. Or the emergency heat will turn on the propane. And either way, it's gonna lock out the heat pump and run propane. Once it's satisfied, it goes right back to heat pump. All right, now we're running heat pump. We got 78 degrees going into the evaporator. Let's switch over to stage two, which would be propane, and see what happens. Okay, I switched it to stage two. Immediately, the fan shut off because it shut the heat pump off immediately. So the furnace is doing its startup sequence now. And right now the heat pump is just locked out on the relay. The thermostat is not hot yet. Okay, the burner just started. So 
the heat pump is still locked out, but once the thermostat heats up, it'll stay locked out until it cools back down after the heater does its final cool down. Now the thermostat just clicked at 105. Heat pump's gonna stay off until that thermostat cools back down after the furnace shuts off and then it goes back to stage one heat. Okay, now let's go back down to stage one. So the white's not energized, but the furnace is still doing its cool down. So the furnace shut off, but it's still doing its cool down sequence. And notice the supply air is still quite hot, 120. If the heat pump were to start under that condition, it would be high head pressure immediately. But the heat pump is still off. So the relay is back to closed, but now the thermostat is keeping the heat pump offline. And once we get back down to 90 degrees, the heat pump will be allowed to turn back on for stage one heat. Okay, now the fan just shut off for the furnace because the furnace did its cool down, but notice it's still 95 degrees. Now the green, is allowing the fan to run and we'll let it cool down. Once it hits 90, the heat pump will be allowed to turn back on. There's the heat pump. And now you can hear the fan ramping up because the Y energized to the heat pump and to the furnace control board. And notice they're still cooling on our inlet air. So now we're back to stage one heat. Here's the schematic diagram. Also a quick note, this really isn't for use in a hot attic because the attic in the summertime could make the unit go over 105 and that could start shutting down the cooling uh, when the unit is in an off cycle and very hot. So this is more for having the units mounted not in the attic and not where the unit is going to reach 105 in the summertime. Well, I hope you liked the video on how to do a hybrid setup without having to mess with balance point and outdoor temperatures. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching.